Yep. Where's we at? Bruce? I don't know. We back at it, though. We had to take a quick break. Right quick. Me and Pooh Bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where you got that shit from? That was 88. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> man, you can't find you can't find no Peruvian no more, man. I wonder no, that. I, wonder man, that I know. Is. I know. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I know. I used to be high as a motherfucker off that shit. You know. What we mean? was just talking about Ruined you, man. You talking about you? You talking about me? I used to hear all kind of shit about you. Yeah, but th this is my show. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your show, then interview me. I gotta yeah. tell you. I'm gonna do it. Watch. I'm gonna yeah, do man. it. I'm now you can interview watch. me now. Ask me a couple questions. Yeah, man. So, what? What's the definition of that name, Zoda Roasted? Where did that come from? That came from Hot Lips. Hot Lips gave me that name. The situation that went down. <laughs> and um, you know, we ain't got to go that deep. Yeah, that, but that's, you know, but but, that's but you know a, that's, that's who embraced question. me too. Honey. That's a question. That's a question that. Uh, I, I refuse to answer. Yeah, he embraced yeah. me too. Yeah, yeah, no, he, no, uh, 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 King D embraced me. Yeah, Dwight. Yeah, Dwight, Family. King D embraced me into, in case you guys don't know the Kumi African Nation organization. But, um, yeah, no, so something went down. We was out here mobbing. And something went down. He said, yeah. man, you the roaster. <laughs> it fits you. Right. Yeah, yeah, no doubt it about it. You. And it was just then. You know, cause I was just Zoe at first, but then. You know, since then I liked it then. I was like, I mean, I, yo, yo, ho, get in. I mean, things about you that I hear, like you know, you've been sort of like the, like the peace man. You know what I'm saying? When something yeah. go down, you try to bring peace to it lately. Yeah, no doubt you about know it. What I'm saying, I, I and I respect that because where we both came from, that wasn't the case. Yeah, you know, you know like I told him, I got something going on right now called um, CTAC, conversation to avoid confrontation. And a lot of times, a lot of that shit happened when we were growing up because we didn't know how to communicate. Damn we, right. only, the only way we communicate, grab that Fist thing and, 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 and go to it. And segueing into that, you was doing a lot of that. Yeah. You know, from, from my from my understanding, you know, I didn't know about the street poo man. You know what I'm saying? I knew about the rap artists. And, and you know what I'm saying? He was pretty dope. You know, the nigga wasn't super duper dope, but the nigga was dope enough to, to make people say, you know, I'll listen to that. I want that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and uh, you I, know, I used to love that though, right? But I want to get to this. You was in the streets fighting, robbing, and and <laughs> popped a couple motherfuckers, right? Allegedly. I'm just saying allegedly. <laughs> but I didn't know nothing about that though until until you went to jail for the Walgreens robbery. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you went to jail for Walgreens, Robbie. You oh, Walgreens? <laughs> I mean, it's the statute of limitations up. I'm gonna tell you something. Walgreens don't deposit their money until the end of the week. Okay. If you look into Walgreens and how much money Walgreens make, we had an inside dude. We hit him. We had already hit him once. Yeah. Check you know check that out real quick. Look into that. We already quick. hit him once. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we had already went. We, we had an inside. Open the safe, you know. That's oh, before they make the drop on Friday. It's all there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But and you was how? Uh, when I did that shit, I was ready to go to prison. And that was a little bit later. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was a little bit later. I I went to prison on that, and then I turned around and came home and went back to prison on the bank robbery. Yeah. I did five on that, sixteen on the other one. So, were you still rapping when you was robbing? Yeah. Yeah. And you was on drugs. Yeah, I was snorting hops, snorting powder. You know, what else? Hopping powder. Hopping powder. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never did nothing. Well, Belushi. Get into that. Weed. Huh? Well, did you, you was you that. Belushi? Um, you know what? That's a that that's a cold question because I had never touched shit until December the third, nineteen ninety. December the third, nineteen ninety is when Bruce died. Okay. I. Oh. Me and my partners. After that, you know, we had I, allegedly some dudes that did it. And we knew who they were, and we was hunting, and. I seen my partner, he always had this shit. That's what he did. And I was like, bro, let me hit that. Just, I just ask for it. Yeah, because from my understanding, how make you worse? Mm. It kill a whole lot of shit in you. And I didn't want to feel. Yeah. I didn't want to feel shit at that time. And right. they, you got to think, I, they just took something from me. I mean, right. something that meant the world to me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Me and his relationship, me, him, John, John, James Barker, all of us, every, everybody was crushed. 
know what I'm saying? Because that shit shouldn't have happened. But it did. Yeah. And I was trying to kill everything in me and go hunting. And that's where it started. I had never fucked with nothing at all. Weed, yeah. But heroin and coke, never. Right. So that's where that it started. That shit brought the demon out in <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And how I was before as a kid, pull, pulling out at parties, popping at motherfuckers, that wasn't what we was doing. We was riding around with assault rifles. Right. Mm. I had a red and white Echoline van. <laughs> what, you remember, um, why well, I can say this shit? You remember what, traders? Remember yeah. the Gatling gun traders had in the back for sale? Yeah. I strapped that motherfucker into a red and white Echoline van. Straight up. $8,000 for that gun. Yeah. I just got the money. It just It was, I was out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight, I, you know, I wanted heads. Yeah, real emotion. Yeah, I wanted heads. Yeah, and that snorting hop and snorting powder riding around trying to kill that that feeling. Because when, once you ain't on that shit and you got to feel that shit, that's something entirely different. That's a... That's too much emotion at one time. Right. right. So did the did the people that did that to him, were they brought The to people justice? we thought did it, didn't. I'm going to leave it at that. Right. What What made you stop? Is it when you went to jail? I went, um, no, yeah. I think it was getting high in jail. I know, it's, it's I, worse We than was jail, born in jail, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we was born in jail. But I heard I, about it. Yeah, we was born in jail. I was trying to get to this prison. Yeah. <laughs> We was, was at, we had the yard. I you know what I'm saying? I was free. I was trying to get to the prison. They were there. What was you at Chachilla? Getting so high. I was at Chachilla. You probably know my sister. The first time, and then CIW the second time. You probably know my sister. Who? Katrina. So prison. Yeah, Katrina you. Sims. Is she a lifer? Mm mm. She out now. Thank God. Yeah, this was yeah. like 1992. <clears throat> yeah, that's my twin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you you was in the game a lot of. And we want to touch on this also. Um. You got into some beefs with some rappers. You had yeah. a beef with Short. Yeah. And Dilly Dog. Yeah. I had Sonny. A, I, bottom line, I had a, I, man, I had beef with the Dangerous the Crew. The Dangerous Crew. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, and that was young, not paying attention, you know, because I can stand here in front of you now, and one of the worst things, one of the things I, w I wish I could have did was talk to Rapper Ron before he passed, because... I got it, you know, I got him in the album groom. Right. And did what I did to him. Um, then I got Hassani. Still try to reach out to Hassani. <clears throat> it's, I was an angry ass kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. And I felt that Randy, Randy Austin, but I didn't put it on Randy, I put it on Short. Because Short was the one who brought me to Dangerous, you know what I'm saying? I came to Dangerous because of Too Short. So I'm just blaming it on Short. It wasn't Short fault. Half of the shit that was going on, Short didn't know nothing about. And I, luckily, I got the chance to come home and sit down with him and apologize to him, you know. And Short been one of my, you know, <laughs> part of my backbone since short I've been my back. Nigga. Short a good you know nigga. what I'm saying? If it's a show, I'm on it. You know, he yeah. bring me out on stage. If he, you know, you got to look at. They gave, put me in a position, to be a fucking star. And then not fuck being a star without the money. Randy Austin was doing shit behind the scenes that wasn't cool, and I blamed it on Short. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Then they made get in where you fit in, and it got a little worse because in one of the lines it said your mama's <coughs> pussy smell like the gutter. So, right. Hisani. And don't nobody disrespect Miss Bessie. You don't do that. Right. Anybody. My mother was against it. She was gonna send somebody at Hisani ass. Right. You know, instead, I, I took care of it. Yeah. But. You stopped your show at a concert. Yeah. <laughs> and went and waited for the nigga. <clears throat> we was, um, <laughs> we was at the Oak, um, what is that? The, uh, Henry J. Cox? No, not the Henry J. Cox. That hotel downtown. It was a black music expo. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was on stage <laughs> with Conscious Daughters and somebody came and whispered to me, his son, he coming through the front door. I'm like, yeah. all right, hey, I have to go. They go huh? I gotta go. <laughs> Walk down, they said, you right there. Wait for him to come through, and we did what we did. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. I was pissed. You don't disrespect my mother, man. It ain't something you do. I ain't going to say nothing about your mama. What <laughs> about Spice One? Me and Spice got in it. We was guilty by association. I told so you, I was just mad. Y'all, you whoop Spice ass? Nah, man. It, it, Spice actually, I'm going to tell you, eBay stopped all of that with me and Spice. Right. Ebay, I love that dude. He brought Spice to the Alvin Groom. Man, shout out Ebay. I ain't heard from Ebay. Yeah, he, um, he brought Spice to the Alvin Groom. 
with me and Tony only mm -hmm. and John John and he set us down and he was like, I ain't good. You know, ate some gumbo, ate some crab and left, so you know, left it alone. Fought. Nah. Mm -mm. Did you okay. whip the Sonny? Yeah. <laughs> Beat the shit out of Sonny. Sorry, bro. But you don't you don't speak on my mom. Yeah. And right. do I do I feel fucked up about it? No, I don't feel fucked up about fighting the Sonny, but I would I would like to put it in the past. Yeah. You know, because I haven't had about. a chance to right, talk to right. him. With me um you don't disrespect nobody's mom. Right. And being that my mother was in the shit, you know what I'm saying? His son, he got off light. Yeah. Did y'all cool now, right? Who? Or? I ain't seen his son. Oh. I've been home seven years. I've reached out, told people if they see him, tell them to hit me. I gave my numbers to people. He won't hit me. I mean, That's I can't crazy. make him. You've been home for about seven years. <coughs> what about your book? Hmm? You wrote a book. Um, yeah. I haven't, I haven't done anything with it. Uh, me and, I mean, Fred, it was circulating for a minute because yeah, people had it, but they didn't have it. Yeah, but people didn't have. I copied it when I was in prison and let people read it. Oh, but you didn't distribute. I never it. distributed. I, it, it, I still got it. I mean, I haven't done anything with it. Sean, Sean, my cousin, Sean Ramsey, he um keeps Shout saying we gonna Sean do something, Ramsey. you know. Stone. But right now, I'm focused on this new album, my last album. This is my last album. Um, my clothing line and my, you know, my marijuana strings. That's what I'm going at now. What is your clothing line? FWD clothing. FWD clothing. Come on, you, you, you figure that Dane. out. <laughs> Fucking with Dane. Fucking with Dane. FWD clothing. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's dope, that's, yeah, that's dope. Just, um, we, you, what we, about your strings? Um, luckily, you know, I didn't holler at a couple of cats. I hollered at Fody. I hollered at some people who could put me in touch with people who grow the strings. And somebody got back at me, and they they want to know what you know what you want this weed to do. How you want a head high? You want a body high? You know I got to sit down, you know, and tell them what I want. Now I'm gonna wait and see if they give me what I want. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, but I'm doing it. I so, mean, me and my cousin, yeah. we hot, we we hiring Fab is um, marketing, and you know Fab, we to get this. I, I mean, that, every everything else is you know moot. You, Wait, I got a question. Yeah. Back to Bruce with the music. Yeah. Do you think, as far as music, that Bruce, if he was still living, he would be like the next Suge Knight? In that? Okay. Bruce, we had, after me, Numb already said it, but we was going to get the loonies. I, some got mixed up, and Chris Hicks got into the picture. I just, Bruce couldn't stand Chris Hicks, but... Yeah, but we was going to... Why? He can stand them. Because Bruce wanted the loonies. Oh. Bruce wanted the loonies. It's just something came up that it had nothing to do with music. And we was in another place when we when, when we was to, when he was talking to them. You know, he had to cut that and deal with some serious shit. Right. I got put on the back burner, but I was already in the studio. I, I just kept... You, you use my money and go to the studio. You know what I'm saying? He'd give it back. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Know, but, Bruce but he was trying to elevate. Yeah, he wanted out. He wanted out. He wanted out the game, and he was going to do it through the music. And, yep, like everybody else. Like everybody else. Yeah, like everybody else. Most definitely. You know, he, he was short. He was short. I mean, yeah. um, December the 3rd changed a lot of people's lives, man. December the 3rd. That's the day he died. What year was that? 1990. 1990. Uh, yeah, I, got, I can still remember. Time I got my phone, the phone call. Everything. It was a drought then. <clears throat> I think it was a drought right then. You might couldn't have find no coke. When the drought, we ain't never had a drought. <laughs> Shit. Are you worried about it? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just remember. I'm reminiscing. Yeah, but what we never had mean? a drought. We, we didn't have a drought. Y'all didn't have no drought. No, we didn't have no drought. Shit, a lot of them droughts, man, made. You what duck that, at? Well, we used to have droughts, huh? <laughs> you know what we would do? We would go to Richmond. <laughs> That's why I found out about Richmond. I'm like, what the fuck is... But we had moved to Richmond. And I was the line from Richmond to Oakland mm -hmm. pertaining to us finding some motherfucking dope. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> back to the pool man, motherfucker. Listen, man. So you got the strain coming. You got the fucking with dank clothing Closing. line. Mm -hmm. Your project. What you got out? Um... I just dropped, I mean, I just dropped the song, you know, it was a, just saying thank you to the people that was, you know, that deserved it. Um, right. You know, it's called All I Know. Um, spoke to Bruce and, you know, 
spoke to my, you know, my daughter's mom and spoke to my partner, Marcus. Marcus has been with me since he was, damn, I think 12. Mm -hmm. He's been around me all this time, man. Ain't never went nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always had my back. So I had to, you know, yeah. had to speak to him. Yeah. You know, I like the video. You know, I do too. Of, yeah. I liked it. I liked it. I said, you know what? Yeah. He, I liked it some of them, as a matter of fact. Yeah, thanks. I said, okay, my brother also, Big C, I don't know if you know who that is. But he liked the song too, though. You know what I mean. Yeah, and we st and, and 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 we 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 hip hop a, um, aficionados as far as like we I like I like lyrics and I like you know what I'm saying showmanship and delivery and yeah. things of that nature. And you I show like your voice. you showed all that. Everybody said that. ain't changed. Yeah. Right, like right. My voice and yeah. I don't know why though. I mean, I hear it change. Don't nobody else hear it change. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Any, no, anybody want to collab shit. with? Who I want to collab with? Yeah. Um, of course I can collab with anybody in the Bay Area. I mean I know everybody. People that I want to collab with, yeah, I'm going after them now. I got people this in Wisconsin that got ties to Dirk. I got people this in Texas with ties to Lil Baby. I want to fuck with them. Okay. You know, that's what me. I'm, I'm I'm going. It's just not I want to. I am making it a point to go after them. Yeah. You know so do you feel your age is a uh, um? An obstacle? Nah, I can touch any music. Any music. You give me a track, I ride it. And it ain't like yeah, I but stand you know they have place. a stigma in rap music. Like, oh, this old ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, Holly Short? Huh? Holly Short. Yeah, and he's still performing and, and selling shit him. out. Snoop you know Dogg. Snoop. Uh, Cube. 40. 40. All these niggas. Yeah. So, I so ain't yeah, so. Yeah. <clears throat> I ain't letting nothing stop me, bro. So, yeah, so that's, that's what I want to. I want people to understand that, you know, music doesn't have an age. No, it don't. The rock stars and, and the country singers and all <laughs> that, though, you know what I mean? Them motherfuckers be bent over on stage. Ozzy. You know what I mean? <laughs> look at Ozzy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he look like a skeleton on stage and he's still rocking. Come on, man. So we, we, we got to make sure that we utilize that, you know, and I say that about Spice One. You know, that's how he take care of himself. Yeah. Spice One, all he do is rap. He don't know how to do nothing else. <laughs> You're not gonna catch that nigga working at nobody's store. Nope. Or nothing. He get paid from his catalog. Yeah. You know what I mean? He get paid from his catalog. That's how he pay all his bills. You know, that's my nigga. Yeah. So I grew up with Spice and and and, and 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 that's my family. So he did he so I'm pretty sure he told you when I was I just the tried to call chase. the nigga. He I didn't tell you about the call, high when I, when no, I got arrested? No, he didn't tell me that. That's why I was just trying to call the nigga and ask that nigga. What happened between? Cause I was listening to your interview on Vultures. Yeah. On No Vultures. Shout out No Vultures. Yeah. They, me and Spice, me and Spice. When I came home for the first time, I I, I was signed to um, Superside Records with um, with Ted Bohannon. Right. And I was like, yeah, I gotta reach out to Spice. So I reached out to Spice. Reached, I even got Vidal on that album, but I reached out to Spice and. Spice came through me and me and Spice got together and we did. He got on the track. So when I got in trouble, I was in Modesto. I was high speeding in Modesto for the bank robbery. And I'm trying to get to Spice to his house. Right. Uh, near his house so I can go to him. Ditch the car and go to his house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's where I was trying to go. And you know, that's my me that's my nigga, man. Yeah. Spice it was I Spice the situation with me and Spice was I was just mad. I was just angry. Right, you know what I'm saying. I felt motherfuckers like with Banks. I felt when they when when we got into it, he should have left with me. But I can't talk about another man.